Hi everyone, I'm Shubhanshu and I'll be talking about PyTail, which is an interactive and incremental learning framework for NLP models supporting human in the loop annotation for online data. This work was done in collaboration with my advisor Jana Tiesner uh, during my PhD at UIUC. Uh, more details can be found at the links below. So what is the problem? Oftentimes we are given a large unlabeled corpus or a large stream of data set. And our goal is, uh, can we label this data efficiently using fewer human annotations? Can we allow efficient human in the loop injection of rules during the annotation process? Or can we uh, update the models efficiently once uh, this new data set is generated? Uh, so this uh, loop is continuous. This setting is very prominent when working with social media data where the data is available in streaming mode and the models are expected to adapt to this data in an online fashion. The answer uh, to all the questions is yes. And uh, uh, we suggest using the following approaches uh, to address each of the issues. To uh, support efficient labeling, we use active learning. For efficient uh, human in the loop injection of rules, we use data and rule suggestion interface. And for model updates, we use online learning. For this talk, our scope will be around classification uh, tasks for social media, uh, mainly abuse detection, sentiment classification, and uncertainty quantification. In order to support research uh, in this area, uh, we released the PyTail benchmark of active learning for social media text classification. It consists of 10 datasets uh, comprising of uh, the tasks called abuse uh, detection, uh, sentiment classification, and uncertainty quantification. Uh, and, uh, Together, these cover around 200,000 social media posts. The dataset will be released publicly at the given TOI and is derived from the social media, i.e. multitask benchmark. In terms of the statistics of the dataset, uh, we have six specific datasets uh, for sentiment classification, uh, two for abuse content identification, and two for uncertainty uh, quantification. Pike tail is heavily uh, inspired uh, from sale uh, which was sentiment analysis uh, uh, framework uh, focusing on incremental human in the loop learning using uh, lexicon based resources. Uh, SAIL was uh, written specifically for sentiment classification uh, and supported uh, online learning via stochastic gradient descent based updates. In uh, SAIL, uh, the key idea was that uh, once we give a suggestion to uh, the human in the loop, uh, we want them the ability to be able to update the suggestions uh, and also to be able to see uh, features which can later be refined uh, in terms of rules uh, for the model. Uh, SAIL also supported uh, the online uh, evaluation uh, metrics as the model was updated in each round of human and group training. PyTail uh, builds upon this uh, and uh, its workflow is uh, to support uh, easy to use interface uh, for uh, performing human in the loop annotation. Uh, again, very similar to SAIL, uh, it allows uh, injection of custom lexicon and rules uh, for an NLP application uh, with uh, the same suggestive framework and the ability for the human annotator to update or reject the rules. It also supports two modes, uh, simulation mode and human in the loop mode. Uh, simulation mode is often uh, beneficial for benchmarking purposes where the full uh, label data is available. And human in the loop mode is the one which you'll use for efficient annotation of your datasets. Uh, PySail also supports a tracking of the performance on the remaining datasets, uh, which is useful as uh, you want to quickly annotate a large corpus. It supports different active learning techniques as well as rule suggestion techniques. In terms of the PyTail workflow, uh, it consists of three main stages, the bootstrap stage, the suggestion stage, and the online stage. The bootstrap stage starts with the base model or training data uh, and some rules and lexicon. The training data is can be like, you know, very small seed data set, which you use to form start your model. Then you take an unlabeled data stream and uh, you feed it uh, to the bootstrap stage uh, by, and then uh, you get an annotated data stream uh, using the rules uh, training uh, model and the lexicons. This annotated data stream is then uh, passed to various active learning techniques uh, and uh, using the query strategy you have defined uh, leads to some suggestions uh, for the human to annotate. These suggestions, uh, uh, 
can not only be in the form of data items to label, but can also be in the form of new rules to suggest and or new lexicons to suggest, which will later be used as features for the model. Uh, the user uh, can then accept, reject, or update these rules or introduce new ones. And then in the online stage, the model is updated with the renewed data set, uh, renewed features, and lexicons. And finally, uh, as we go through this whole loop, uh, we track the various evaluation metric uh, defined for our model. For active learning, uh, the problem formulation is very simple. Uh, the goal is given a model and unlabeled data to select as few samples to be annotated uh, based on various selection criteria and to quickly uh, reach the performance which we would have reached by uh, using the full training data set. The PyTail API looks very simple and it consists of the PyTail trainer uh, where you define your model function, your initial lexicon and rules, and you also define your scoring and selection functions. You can also choose whether to run it in a simulation mode or a human in the loop mode. And once you have defined these, they are used to uh, train multiple rounds, which is uh, beneficial for simulation mode, or to train like a single round, uh, which you will use uh, for the human in the loop mode. Uh, you can also define various uh, uh, functions for how uh, the new updates uh, should be generated, how uh, the suggestions should be processed. And uh, you can also define uh, a function to sell how the new data and lexicon should be uh, created. In terms of the evaluation workflow, we evaluated uh, PyTail uh, on the PyTail benchmark uh, using a simple uh, logistic regression uh, classifier with the TFIDF based features of the text along with a, a online updated lexicon. The goal was to evaluate the performance of various active learning techniques. Uh, and we uh, considered a random entropy based and ma min margin based candidate scoring and top K and K sampled uh, candidate selection criteria. Uh, in terms of the held out uh, test set performance, uh, we found that almost all the models uh, uh, active learning strategies perform very similarly. And we see that uh, it, like by using very uh, small amount of data set, we can achieve the performance uh, comparable to using the full training data set for most of the tasks. We here only show the performance of sentiment tasks, but more details can be found in the paper for all the other tasks. Evaluation on remain data is more interesting because uh, this uh, is uh, different from the standard evaluation for active learning system. Here, the goal is like, you know, to see how quickly can we annotate a large data set. And hence, we should uh, track the performance of how good the model is doing on the remaining data set uh, 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 as uh, like each uh, annotation uh, step is performed. So here, we clearly see that the top K strategy is uh, like uh, much better than the, all the other strategy. That means uh, it can lead to like you know, very fast annotation of the remaining data set, uh, which may not necessarily like you know generalize well, but like often can lead to like you know good annotation performance uh, when the data set you have is uh, fixed. Uh, so to summarize, uh, what we have is like by using just around 10% of the data set, almost all the strategies can uh, lead to like a pretty comparable performance, uh, which you get to by using the full uh, training data set. And also uh, on the remaining data set, we find that the top case strategy uh, is one of the best ones. Uh, if you have more questions, uh, please reach out to us on Twitter uh, at the following uh, handles. Uh, our code will be released soon at social media, i.e. Uh, slash PyTail on GitHub. Uh, a previous version, which we have used for experiment in this paper, uh, can be found under the repository social media, i.e. Uh, slash active learning. And uh, if you have any questions or feature requests, feel free to raise them under the issues tab. Thank you. Uh, here's the detail to the various papers.